Hey guys, it's Oluvids and today I'm going to be talking about Takuto Maruki from Persona 5 Royal. So Persona 5 Royal is basically like a, let's say, like a final mix to Persona. It's a re-release of the game and it includes extra content, so it's kind of like DLC, but it's not really DLC, so yeah, it's mostly the same game, but it has extra stuff added in. Now if you're trying to avoid spoilers, then I suggest you might want to leave now, but before you do that, you might want to max out Takuto's social link before November 18th, you know, just trust me, you might want to do that. Alright, let me give you three facts about him. One, he's a counselor at Shujin Academy. Two, he's the final boss. And three, he likes apple juice. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me start back at the beginning of Takuto's miserable life. So we start off when his fiance's family was murdered by a house burglar. This caused his fiance, or Rumi, to be extremely depressed. And around this time is when his persona, Adam Kadmon, manifested. The special thing about his persona is that he can alter people's cognition, and so he used it to cure Rumi of her depression. Unfortunately, this caused her memories to be altered and she ended up forgetting about him completely. After this event, he decided to do some cognitive research in order to fully understand how it worked. However, of course, in typical Shido fashion, he came to ruin everything by stealing his research. Later on, Takuto opened up a clinic and helped a young girl named Sumir. So Samir recently lost her sister and she asked him to change her cognition and so he ended up changing her into thinking that she is her sister that was named Kazumi. Later in the game, after the Kamoshida incident, Takuto was brought in to be Shujin's counselor in order to ease the student's mental health. At first, the Phantom Thieves didn't really trust him but eventually they realized they could use him for their cause. Throughout the year, Takuto will interview each Phantom Thief besides Akechi. So if you max out a social link by November 18th, then this will trigger the new third semester that wasn't in the original game. And if you don't, then congratulations! You just spent $60 and played over 100 hours just to get the same ending as the original Persona 5. So after the Phantom Thieves defeat Yalda both, Adam Kadmon corrupts and activates a large-scaled version of his ability. This grants everyone's wishes, including ones that would bring everyone back to life. This includes people like Akechi, Wakaba, and Okumura. He gives Joker and Akechi a week to see the perfect lives of the rest of the thieves. However, they use this week to snap the team out of the false reality. He also takes Kazumi hostage for the time being. Once Joker and Akechi come back, they refuse to accept his reality and he causes Sumir's persona, Sandrillion, to go berserk. After Joker and the rest of the Phantom Thieves defeat her, Sumir goes back to her true self and she takes on the name of Violet. This is when Takuto decides to stop negotiations and instead challenge the Phantom Thieves to a fight later on. Once he's defeated, Joker saves him before the palace collapses on him. See, the reason that he needed to do this is that, unlike the other enemies, the real Takuto rules the palace instead of the shadow. After his defeat, Takuto undid all of his illusions, including the people that he brought back to life. So, yeah, the catch has gone now. He also had a change of heart and decided to face his problems head on instead of hiding in a fake reality. I personally think this addition was pretty cool. It adds a different solution to the Phantom Thieves' goal, which is to, of course, destroy all of the evil in the world, get rid of all the corruption, all of that, make people's lives better. But, of course, this isn't the, you know, this isn't what the Phantom Thieves believe in, like, making them live in a lie in order to avoid pain. So, um, yeah, of course the Phantom Thieves oppose it, but you could also choose to join his side and accept his reality and yeah, the game will have a different ending and you'll basically live in this false reality where everything is perfect. Well, that's it for this video and with all this talks of changes of heart in Persona 5, let's hope that 2020 also has a change of heart and decides to be good for once, you know, because it's been pretty crazy out there and let's just hope that next month is the month that we can finally have a good year. Alright, well that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe and follow all my other social medias if you want to see more from me and check out my discord website and yeah that's it for now uh see you guys next time